Hey everybody, this is Charles Blair, the Mad Scientist. I'm with Agent Corey Banks, Realtor 007. And right now we are at one of my Mastermind students' projects. As a matter of fact, it is Drewy and Vernon Vaughn. We are here, we're gonna interview them guys. They're right here at this property. It's new construction. So let's go on the inside and give you guys the lowdown. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. <laughs> what up? Welcome home. What up? What up? What up? Welcome home. Welcome to Vernon. 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 Welcome to our latest project. Joey. Yeah. My At scientists. At 30 South. Now, first of all, this is a deal that you guys got. Brand new construction. Introduce yourself to everybody. All right, I'm, I'm Vernon Vaughn, one of the partners in Capital Gateway Development and Capital Gateway Partners. I'm Drew El Sazwa. I am the second half of Capital Gateway Development and Capital Gateway Partners. Now, I know you guys, the name is Capital Gateway, but you're just not in the capital. Yeah. You're all over the place. We're all over the place, absolutely. 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 Now, take us through this property. We're going to go through each floor. Um, before we walk through, give me the origin story of where this property came from and how it came to be. Okay, so this project was is our third infill development project. Infill development was something that we jumped into going on about four or five years ago now. We saw, we, we identified a challenge and turned that into a heck of an opportunity. Uh, one great thing about infill development, about dirt, about vacant lots, is that what a lot of people see as a challenge, we see the opportunity. We know there's not a line around the corner, like on, a, on a, even a mediocre rehab deal, right. on dirt, often we can find it on EMLS, and sometimes it sits. And in this case, we uh, found this on EMLS. There was a builder who was selling a lot, and we kind of sent some distress with the builder. Mm -hmm. It was a new builder once upon a time. We were new builders, so we know how tough that can be. Okay. And, now, uh, Drew, how long have you guys been together? Oh, boy. Um, well, we've known each other for over 10 years. Over right? 10 years. Um, First deal we did together in, is in 2016. Two, yeah, yeah. We, a fire damage deal yeah. mm -hmm. that so made yeah. us know we could build from the ground up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we've been, yeah, like I said, we've been partners since 2016, but we've been knowing each other in the real estate circle for over 10 years. Yeah, because yeah, I know you was doing rentals in Baltimore, uh, rehabs, yeah, boarding houses. Exactly. I still do the rentals in Baltimore. Okay. But, um, you know, but when it comes to flips, we just had to change the dynamics because... I mean, like Vernon said, there's not a whole lot of competition with this asset class. Not a lot of people understand how to buy land and, and evaluate land. Now, I, I like the nicheness about it. The fact that you mentioned earlier that this was on the MLS. And a lot of people find hard to get opportunities on the MLS. But when you're dealing with land. Man, it's, sometimes it sits there. Yeah. Sometimes they're like, you know, the pipeline is full. We can't take it down now. And sometimes we go back 45 days later and we're like, it's still there. Like, pipeline full or not, do we buy it? Okay, let's go ahead and walk through the property. We're going to come back downstairs. We're going to give everybody the numbers that count. When we walk through the property, just give us a sense of, I mean, this is new construction, so it can't be what was here before, because nothing was here before. Absolutely. But give us a sense of the time and dedication it took for you guys to really bring this to fruition with your team members and so on. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, the very first thing we do is, so our niche is really making sure that we put that we don't build cookie cutter homes right all right now we don't overcomplicate the process either but we put features in houses that we know that today's buyers are going to want right it makes the property very little open floor plan is one of the first things you'll notice if i was to say what is a capital gateway um home what would that answer be so you'll think it's a million dollars even if it's not Okay, okay. All right, so we don't, you know, we don't, uh, again, we don't, we don't, we don't cut corners. We uh, work very hard, very hard to make sure the craftsmanship is there, the features are there, mm -hmm. the finishes are there, very thoughtful and intentional design. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So some of the stuff that we do have on this floor, as though as you're seeing this, is uh, 
for me personally, when I mm -hmm. look at houses or when I'm in my house, one of the things I hate is being on the first floor and hearing movement on the second floor. Right. I that's a pet peeve of mine. So with this house, I took that into we took that into consideration, and you can, we 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 basically have the floors um, soundproof. So if you have somebody on the other floor and mm -hmm. you're down here, you wouldn't hear me. So no squeaky bits. No squeaky bits. <laughs> the floors are soundproof. Got you. We spend that extra money in soundproofing our floors. We spend the extra money in soundproofing the bathrooms so that when you flush a toilet or you're taking a shower, you're not hearing those pipes move. Right. So that's um, some of the consideration, some of the things that we took into consideration for this house. Run and let you continue. Now, I know Vernon, um, you, I think it was years ago, you were one of the first ones that was really introducing the whole home 3.0 technology, adding in the different uh, nuances when it comes to new, new age homes. Talk a little bit about that, the exactly. wiring so on. Exactly. So one thing you'll see is you'll see wires hanging from the ceiling. Those are our speaker drops. So we've got speakers going in the ceilings. And you're going to be able to listen to, you know, you don't have to have Alexa plugged in. You're going to be able to listen to your music on your iPhone, on your device, through Bluetooth, going right to these speakers up in the ceiling. We always do smart door locks so you mm -hmm. can control access or even give access remotely. Uh, Nest smart thermostat so you can change the temperature when you're a thousand miles away. Of course. Uh, USB outlets, right? You know, charger box always mm -hmm. go missing. Always, and you ain't gotta worry about it in a capital gateway development house because you're gonna have USB ports in every bedroom, every living room, and a few in the kitchen. Gotcha. And what Brandon forget to say is that in this house, we went a little bit extra. Um, right now you can't see it, but we wired every room for HDMI. Apart from wiring for HDMI, nice. every room has a Cat5 cable wire. So if you're a gamer, because sometimes I we took into consideration, hey, if you're a gamer, sometimes the Wi-Fi is just not strong enough. For right. You. you want to plug in directly into your network. So every room has a Cat5 pre-wired directly into the network. Mm -hmm. So if you want more juice as opposed to being on the Wi-Fi, you want you know you can just plug in and plug your console, and you, you get a stronger signal. That's right. You can work. So so mom and dad can work from home. Son can be playing Call of Duty. Nobody has a choppy signal, lag time, or or Zoom call that's going in and out. Okay. Be able to wire directly into into internet. I'm trying to touch the states this time. 2021. Yeah, show them I can still rap though. On the, bench. on the bench, first I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bands. Spending all the bag, like here I go again. Yeah, I go again. Outside says chirp, now the camera phone. Yeah. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels yeah. on. Why you acting different when the camera's Why on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. My city gritty, you could get hit any day now. Nah. On my mama, I'ma move, I finally wait out. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I been winning, I'm like, why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you, boo, I style me. I roll G's and they grind me Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same Who am I to blame? Money made me change Cardi in my ring when I'm switching lanes Money in the carry on them boy planes Money in the carry on them boy planes Now I got a buck for all those rainy days Ain't have a day off in like 80 days I got hustles in like 80 ways Kids if he won't take a lazy day Wife you want me, told me take a break I keep going to the paper street then it's trips up to Montego Bay If I take the job, bet I get it done I said it before, I'm a one on one I just count some ones, only wearing ones Fornicate the funds, money made me come Diamonds on your neck, bet they on your neck You want that watch, you better rock and tech You want that chain, you better cop a vest You want that check, but can you make it stretch? Hey guys, as you can see, this house is in fantastic condition. As we mentioned on the outside, this is brand new construction. 
tell me a little bit about the numbers. How long did you guys take in order to really put this house together? Okay, so we broke ground in October. Uh, took us a few months before in the design permitting phase. Mm -hmm. um, we should, we're, we're getting ready to cross the finish line on this project in about two weeks. Okay. About two weeks. So on each project, we're getting gradually and gradually better. We are working towards the goal of being able to go from breaking ground to a finished product within three to four months. So you guys can go from, like you just mentioned, from just breaking ground to a finished product in three to four months. Did you guys have any issues that came up on this project that made you say, okay, this is going to take a little bit longer than normal? Absolutely. Um, because of COVID, our window supplies took longer than normal. Mm -hmm. um, we, we lost an entire month waiting for windows. Uh, More than that. You know, like, you know, now, nine, nine weeks to be exact. Now, uh, I mean, Maryland PG DC is, is, is notorious for permitting issues. Any issues with permitting? Bad. No, not that bad. Not okay. Yeah, yeah, that not, bad. yeah, it's it's DC has always been tougher for us right. for renovations. This not that bad at all. Okay. Yep. So let's go into the actual purchase price. How much you guys got the land for? One thirty five. Uh, I believe it's one hundred twenty eight thousand dollars exactly. Better. Came with a set of plans. That's typically a uh, ten to twelve thousand dollar value and takes us thirty to forty five days to So you already saved ten 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 to twenty thousand dollars already. Hey man, to stress sellers. Man. Exactly. <laughs> now tell us a little bit about the seller. Because okay. you said he was a developer who couldn't get the, the work done. What happened? So no, it was a builder who had a project right oh, okay. up the street. Uh, he was a new builder. Mm -hmm. we, we remember our first project. Mm -hmm. So we so we, 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 you know, we remember how tough <laughs> it was. And so and so I, and, and I, I was it's funny, I noticed when we were comping out, you know, what the end project would be, I noticed the listing agent was the same person. Right. And I put two in, and then I went to the tax record and saw the same owner. Okay. And, um, and so the, the, the great thing about that was, you know, the list agent said, well, when you're done, you'll be able to, to, to have a project that's worth X amount. I said, well, how come your client isn't selling his finished project, which is going to be bigger, for X plus. Right. So already I said, your math isn't isn't adding up. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, the great thing is it came with plans. Came, we had to change the plans, but I mean, that put us, you know, once again, that was a ten dollars to $12,000 value. Saved us 30 to 45 days. You know, that was just, just made it a, a great buy for us. So you're in at about one twenty nine, and how much was the rehab cost? Or should I so, say the new construction new cost? New construction cost, I think we'll end up right around three seventy. dollars mm -hmm. But what is worth this same house built about a year and a half ago, what have should have cost us about three twenty, three thirty dollars before lumber prices went up, but mm -hmm. then so did a other lot of other commodities exactly. went up also. So three whatever plus one twenty nine, you're in a total of five hundred. Now here's the drum roll. What will this sell for when it goes on the market? We're looking at seven. Seven. We're looking at seven. We're looking at seven plus a feeding friend. Ooh. So that's about a hundred and eighty, hundred and ninety gross, about one hundred thousand net. Something like that. Something like that. So, something like that. Did you guys love real estate? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. 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 So what's what's next up for you guys? So next up are more uh, infill development projects. We've got a lot like right around the corner. Gotta love that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're uh, developing two lots uh, that are right next to each other, right down a road in Riverdale Park, which is a, which is a red hot neighborhood. We, we love these red hot, high value, high density areas like this. This neighborhood right here is one block away from Washington DC. Right. This same house one block over is a million dollar house. So this right here, <laughs> this right here is a great value if you want to post to DC without paying an extra 300 check. And uh, this uh, projected and by somebody who wants to live in DC but doesn't want to pay the price of DC but they're close to DC. Right. And you got new construction. And you got new construction. Absolutely. Okay, so how can someone reach out to you guys if they want to bring opportunity to you guys or work with you JV with you? How do you do it? Uh, you can find me on Instagram. I'm on Instagram. Um, it's Drewy underscore my last name, O S A Z U W A. You can reach me on Instagram. You can reach me on Facebook. I respond directly to you. Vern? And uh, on uh, Instagram and Facebook, you can find me, Vern Vaughn One. Also on Facebook uh, and Instagram, you can find us at Capital Gateway Development. Gotcha. This is Charles Blair, the mad scientist with Mastermind Student Extraordinaire, Vernon, Drewy. 
and agent who? Corey Banks. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.